Lauren Collier, SSOE's Virtual Design and Construction Department Manager. Virtual Design and Construction uh, is an alternative uh, delivery method to the traditional way that we've done projects. We've defined Virtual Design and Construction in a way that, that it's a verb, it's about project execution. Uh, we've even created a graphic uh, that, that looks like an umbrella and inside of that umbrella you have interactive planning, you have collaboration, uh, you'll see the virtual build and design and that's where we would define BIM inside of that, that piece of the umbrella. Uh, we also have target value design and lean processes. It's not just about using the model, it's not just about using technology and fancy tools, it's really about the people and the processes and what the technology does is it enhances that. Collaboration really is about the design team, our partners, our owners, the contractors, and it's about bringing the right people at the right time to the project to make decisions. The three benefits we're seeing with virtual design and construction are schedule compression, cost savings in construction, as well as enhanced communication. Uh, when we use virtual build in the model, that inherently gives us that enhanced communication because that's what we're talking about uh, in design and we take that into construction. Uh, with schedule compression, we're seeing an average of 20% compared to traditional delivery uh, of construction projects. With that schedule compression, you get cost savings. Uh, in addition to cost savings just from schedule compression, we're seeing the advantage of utilizing BIM and quantity takeoff in order for us then to pick the right materials and choices to get overall construction and building then cost savings because we're able to, to adjust our material choices. SSOE has some fundamentals for virtual design and construction. These fundamentals deal with our virtual build process. Uh, the first fundamental is reality capture. Uh, the reason we do this is because uh, a lot of our projects are renovations, some are greenfield, and what we want to do is make sure we have the most accurate information to start with for us to design our projects. The second fundamental that we use has to do with design review. This is either internal or external. We utilize the model at the middle or at the center of our design reviews. It's a cross-discipline coordination uh, review. Uh, as we pro progress through the project, we start to incorporate contractors. Uh, the owner is always engaged in this process. And we're able to catch things early on during this design review process. The third fundamental that we use is um, a coding system. And with this organization, we're able to do downstream uses. We have never been able to do this before without the incorporation of, the, of this coding structure. So what this coding structure does in short is it allows us to, to validate our both design and, and our construction. Our fourth fundamental of VBC is external collaboration. Uh, we bring in key stakeholders, trade partners early on to make design decisions. Why is this important? We're able to catch surprises. We're able to make key changes early on. Uh, when we do this, those savings go straight into construction. VDC is project delivery. It is about the people engaging good processes to deliver the project. Technology is the catalyst. We're able to make better design decisions and construction decisions utilizing the model with these robust processes. There's a lot of changes happening in the design and construction industry right now. Uh, technology is, is pushing a lot of those changes. Virtual design and construction allows us to capture those new uh, emerging technologies and apply them to the project. Uh, and in turn, I get to save my client money and that is a really great feeling.